Hey guys, Jesse here from dbzfigures.com. Um, just like in my review for the episode, latest episode, I wanted to do a little bit of further analysis of um, this new intro, and because it's kick-ass, and mainly about what they Atoe may be hinting at for a new form or power-up for Goku. But first, um, was just take a look first we see you know Goku uh, fighting with this mysterious just gray alien who looks he's crazy buff and uh, he just has a, like a red and black outfit that few of the other people are wearing especially this part right here this is like really intense really awesome and you see him firing each other we here we have the ring that they're fighting, let's get rid of this Naruto shit. See the ring that they're fighting in looks pretty, I mean, pretty cool. Kind of like a, like a, a dreidel. Wonder they meant, if they meant for that to look like a dreidel. See some cool shit of a uh, Krillin here. And I really like how they're focusing so much on these, uh, on the other members here. Like, I'm, I'm really excited we're getting some more of tension on, like, he, like I said many times before, he's one of my favorite characters. Um, and Master Roshi, I mean, I can't wait to see what he's going to do in the tournament. See, them training. Vegeta doing some of his training, too. Um, see the two Zenos with, uh... The Grand Priest right here. See him kind of being a little silly little poses. Oh, there we get to see some of the Gods of Destruction, which we've already seen before. There's the Clown. Um, I don't know. I can't really make out that one very well. I really like this new art style. Like, there we get the, a mixture um, I mean, we see the, like, I don't know why they mixed it. We got the Angels, uh, the Kaioshins, uh, Beerus and Shampa. Uh, yeah, this guy, Destruction here, who's almost front and center. So, he might be, uh, play a big part. Because, especially, I mean, we did see, like, a full art reveal for him and his Angel, which is right... I forget, right there, maybe? Yeah, it's this one right here. So let's take a more look at some more Vegeta training. And here we have go a lot of people are excited about this. You know, Gohan uh, is going to be back and he appears to have his ultimate powers back. Here we have the uh, gray alien who, and this buff dude with a mustache which is ha wearing a similar outfit to him and the and this is the female broly type character here so i'm assuming that uh she is not from universe six hell she might not even be a saiyan at this point but she just might have a transformation that's just like uh, super saiyan so who really knows here we see Awesome. Really excited to see some more of 17 firing. Oh, I, I love this shot of Roshi here. Oh. That, I mean, finally, I mean, if they could, if they, you know, I love Mutin Roshi. You know, he's an extreme goofball. Um, but, you know, it's just like this way for beers. Like, you know, their voices are completely different. They sound like, you know, he's like, completely goofy and you know perverted but then when he gets serious like it's it's he's really intimidating yeah he's severely severely outclassed by all the rest of the fighters but he's still the most most uh trained most uh experienced fighter out of all of them except for Majin Buu um but he's millions of years old but as far as humans and Saiyans go he still has a way more experience than everyone else and tension on like crazy excited for him. Kaba there, Frost. I mean, oh, and 
I don't know what to call her anymore, but just her. There's a better shot, just a generic gray alien. And whoa, look at this. This is like, looks like a fighter from his universe, but it looks like uh, Beerus and Shampa. Maybe it's the same species as as um, those two. But yeah. So we have Goku fighting. I forget. He looks just like a Digimon from um, Digimon Savers. I forget his name. Go. I have to look it up later. Um, he was one of the main ones. Vegeta fighting this clown looking dude. Or a girl. Goku's like, yeah, that blasts. Only cool people walk away from explosions. This is awesome. See him powering up the Super Saiyan, and then as soon as he turns blue, he just explodes and charges up. Like, that's awesome. I mean, I love this art style that they're going for here now. Now, this is what everyone is talking about. We see Goku powering up, and then at first, it looks like his Kaioken charge, but it's a lot bigger, a lot more intense. And then we see see this here as this is loading now um, and then we see Goku just kind of peek through it like kind of tease it like like say hey you're about to see some badass in this arc I th I, that's the impression I'm getting so I I kind of hope it's he's not getting new transformation because I just I think just think it's kind of ridiculous really getting kind of ridiculous at this point that there's more, I was really hoping, I'm still hoping, that Super Saiyan Blue is the final transformation for Saiyans, that, like, that's the best they could ever get, but may, I'm, I'm hoping, like, because especially, like, this, he kind of snaps through and he's back in his base form, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that this is really just showing that in this, in this fight, that he just kind of absorbed the god blue power into his base form and he's just able to just be at his full power in his base form which i would be really more behind like and because he showed me he's fighting more intense here and yeah but song is really kick-ass in this so that's really all i had to say about this um you know people are really excited that you know yes goku's getting new transformation I I don't I hope he's not. I'm 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 the I'm in the minority here. I know, but I really like the idea that Goku and Vegeta had the same transformation. That they're almost you know they're neck and neck. You know Goku has just the tiniest bit edge. That sometimes, um, that you know they should be rivals. They should be you know. If he's if Goku's getting new transformation, then Vegeta's gonna be way left behind, and that's just kind of ruining my um, the thing I liked about Super so far is you know that it's not just a Goku show, um, which we see here now that you know looks like all these people are gonna have a good part in this arc, hopefully anyway. Um, let me know what you thought about this intro in the comments below. Um, what you, and what are your thoughts about the the potential new form for Goku? What you hope or what you want? Um, uh, you can follow me at Twitter at twittercom Autobot. You can Instagram me too Autobot, and you can uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube for the latest Dragon Ball news and reviews.